Hello, welcome back. I would like to show you how to create the turnstile state machine in LabVIEW. To begin, let's open a new VI as shown over here. Go to File, New VI. So in this uh, VI, I'm going to do a tile left and right. Now, first thing first, I would create a while loop. So I would go to the structures look for the while loop structure and drop it on the block diagram. I would also create a, a control which is a stop button as shown over here. Now I would uh, first of all perhaps resize this by pressing the control plus 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 and I would then add in the timing palette to put a width millisecond delay over as shown. Switch on the label and perhaps to add a 100 millisecond delay. Now next I would like to add two shift register. So add the first one, right click at the loop edge here, add another shift register. To proceed further, I would like to add a case structure over here. Okay, case structure. Okay, in the middle of the code, somewhere around here. Now, I would try to position the case selector slightly lower over here. And I would show you how to create the enum constant. To, to house the two uh, logic state, which is the uh, lock state and the unlock state. So on the uh, front panel, right click, go to enum, ring and enum, select enum. Okay, just to zoom in, you see the word enum. Enum stands for enumerated. Okay, select and drop. Now I would like to expand a bit, press the control plus 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 to increase the size and uh, using the text tool, let's call this the states. Okay, now then I would switch to my positioning tool. I'm going to select this enum, right click on it. Okay, and uh, I would like to add two logic states the state machine logics uh, into it. So I will edit the items. Alright, so a window will be pop launch and I will insert uh, okay I will insert the text called lock state. I will insert another one called the unlock state. Okay, so now I have two of the states. Okay, I would uh, try to uh, expand a bit on the block diagram. I would also right click on this enum and I would like to create a constant over here. Okay, so I would then use the finger or the selection tool to select the lock state has the default state. Wire this to the input of the shift register and wire the output of this shift register to the case selector. Now do observe that after I've done that you will notice that the case selector has changed the states accordingly. Right so I have clean up the wire so I have the first state called the lock state now what is going to go into this lock state now? Uh, I would need two uh, inputs, right? As we mentioned earlier. So I decided to use the vertical toggle switch. I'll select one of them. I'll call this the swivel arm. Okay, select this. Uh, uh, use the control plus to resize the object. Control plus, 
so this is the input now I would then select the swivel arm object hold on to the control key on the keyboard left click and drag so that I would duplicate another one and I'm going to call this the insert coin insert coin input now besides this I need to make sure that I've selected the correct mechanical action so I select the swivel arm input right click select a uh, mechanical action now I don't want to use the switch when press action I would go for the latch when press instead so select this select the correct option call the latch when press okay right click mechanical action latch when press so similarly select this right click select the mechanical action select latch when press latch when press okay so now i have two inputs so i'm going to put the inputs according to as shown over here to resize a bit over here and pull up the shift register to be on the highest the higher level now next I would like to select use the comparison use the select function okay select function over here okay select so this select function will allow later on you will see that you're able to select the state so for for the in the beginning when the program starts it will be in the lock state so I will wire the insert coin into the input of the this select function right click visible item switch on the select function now at the same time I would like to copy this logic state lock this logic state here okay the unlock so I'm going to select using the finger to select unlock state and I would also want the other one okay using the finger to again select the lock state so what I do is that I'm going to wire the input to this select function and the select output will go to the shift register as shown over here now at the same time we also can display as an indicator over here right click go to create create an indicator so that we can display the status of the turnstile system as you can see over here okay so this will form the status I'm going to expand uh, like, okay this it will be the status Okay, now uh, I would like to uh, right click create a constant numerical constant for my counter so what I do is that I wire a zero to the shift register okay to begin with now I'm going to switch on to the uh, unlock state now okay so what does the unlock state uh, comprise we will take a look shortly now in the unlock state okay I would like to also add a, a case structure over here now the case structure really is to uh, provide the increment for the counter so I'm going to look for the numeric look for the increment function uh, the plus one function Okay, I'm going to right click also turn on switch on the label and uh, I will also use another select function the select function will be put at around here okay and then I would use this swivel arm input value to be connected to the case select Okay, remember that the swivel arm will then trigger the state machine to switch to shift in terms of the state logic 
So uh, moving on, I would copy the enum from here because once the swivel arm is being or the push is being activated, you will switch it back to the lock state as we explained earlier. So I'm going to wire the okay select as shown. So and I can make a copy, duplicate copy. And make sure that this is in the unlock state. Okay, so I'm going to wire this to here and wire the constant for the counter to the output of the shift register. So when the swivel arm is only uh, or the push button is being clicked or pushed, the output will go at to uh, trigger this uh, out the case uh, as shown over here now there's kind of a routing issue here because of the space now let's try to clean up the wire using the cleanup function here so here we are so now I've completed the unlock state and for the lock state because uh, for the numerical counter I'm just going to pass the wire through so that the shift register here will retain the final value now similarly for the if the swivel arm or the push is not activated the counter is just going to pass through the value as shown so now i've completed this uh, system so let's do a quick run and check out the system so if i click the run button the default system will be in the lock state okay let's uh, expand a bit on this uh, once the insert coin is being pushed or detected, it will switch to unlock state. Alright, now uh, what I'm missing here is the indicator. Okay, maybe I'll stop here for a moment. Let's switch over and I forgot to create a numerical indicator here. So let's do that for the counter. Right click here, create an indicator. And let's call this the counter. Okay, so let's rerun this program again. Okay, let's expand it. Okay, so let's do a quick run. Quick run. Right, so default state is in the lock state. So once the user click on the insert coin, the state machine will switch to the unlock state. Now at this point in time, it will wait, wait for the swivel arm or the push to be activated. So once the swivel arm is clicked as you can see what I did it will switch it shift from the unlock state to the lock state at the same time there will be an increment of one count so no matter what I do in the at this point in time I'm still in the lock state so I need to insert another coin to shift it back to the unlock state and then only I can activate the swivel arm to increment the counter value right okay so i've uh, stopped the demonstration here okay i hope you can give it a try and try out this program yourself thanks for watching